hello everyone you're welcome to this youtube channel if this is your first time of coming here kindly hit the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we drop new videos kindly give our videos thumbs up like share and comment and i will surely be there to attend to all the comments as soon as possible thank you for your support always god bless you Bye. this is industrial five trade overlocking machine we can as you can see it has five trades one two three four five we have two five trades there although you can see it's normal trade but at least it's better for you to use this one because they're going to be passing through the loopers there we have here we have three loopers two here and the third one is for the fifth trade here so let's let's trade the machine together this first one uh, trade here this which is the fifth one comes here it enters here it will go through this base then make sure it goes around the tension always make sure the trade enters the tension very well if you enter this place goes down it will pass through this place <laughs> if you enter this place it comes out from here it goes here like this like this if you enter this place and from there it will enter this place now this trade has to enter this particular loop right here so i'm going to be bringing it in through the back so it can come out here and enter the space so let me take it back now use your picker to bring the thread out here so after bringing it out you pass it through the back here through the back here it comes out here then you bring it to the front again like this then make sure that it enters this place so the trade was passed with this go so this is a trade for me like this to enter this place it comes out so then you take it out That's for the first one. So for the second one, you do the same thing from here to this place to this place. If you enter this place, go around the tension also. Then it comes out here. It passes through this place. It goes down. Passes through here. This one, the second hole here. Then you pass it inside this place. Inside that place. Let me open this place for you. So after this place, there's another hole here. Push it inside. And after that, you bring it here. You can see each one is coming inside this loop. You bring it here. It goes and enter this place. Then you have the thread. This is your thread. Then after that, you bring it out. Bring it out here. This is it. This is the second one. Now, the third one. This is for the the, the second and the third. Actually, they are for the two middle. So. It passes from here to this place to the third hole here. If you enter this place, then you pass it through here, it goes around the tension. Goes around the tension. If you enter the you know, you have three holes there. If you enter the first one here. If you enter this place. Just go on this place. No, 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 no. If you enter here, this is a trap. Okay, then if you enter this hole, then you pass it through the middle. You pass it from the front to the back. Or the pass it after it goes from the front to the back. Now, for the second middle, too, this is a trick. It comes from here to this place, it enters this place. So you, it goes in like this and goes around the, the tension. Then you enter the First all here, enter this place, goes here, enter here, and goes in here, goes in here, use it, use it, use the Like this, then, there's a hole here. So enter the hole, enter the hole, and bring it down. 
then if you enter the needle from the front too. So what the thread is bringing out. Okay, out. So we have the four thread. Now let's now pass the fifth thread. These are the four straight looper threads and the two needle here. Now the fifth thread a little bit different from others. So when you take it up like this, it comes in. So if we enter this place, if you enter this place, if you enter this place, so from this place, it has to enter these long, these long things are in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But because our hand cannot actually go through it, we we'll use this thing. How it says? Let's capture. So this is what you put put inside this thing. This one. Push it inside. Push it inside. It comes out. So you put the, the thread across it. Then you pull it out. So you have your thread here. That's what we use to we use to bring the thread out. So when you have the thread out here. Take it through this hole, it goes around the extension and comes into this hole again, into this particular one. So from there it comes here, it will enter this place. When it enters this place, you bring it under this, <coughs> just like this. Now, it enters, you bring it under this, it goes back, then it enters this place. Then you bring it out. So, then you bring it out. So from here, pass it through here. That's one. And I don't go this thread from here. Pass it through here. This one is actually coming to this looper. Okay, so. So. I see you bring it out, then they bring it inside. You use your picker to collect the thread, bring it inside. So, after bringing it inside. Okay. 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 So you bring it there, then you drop it inside. I think you're resting inside like that. You don't to enter in it. So you close it and let's run it so I can show you how it works actually. Mm. So it's it's sewing at the same time weaving, sews and weaves at the same time. So that's why it's fine. So this is the extra one thread that is there. Sews and weaves at the same time. You can see the back. So this is what you use for uniform on most of our red most of the red meat that you see. So that's what that you buy from boutique. That's the machine they used to sew there. <laughs> it sews at the same time and weaves. So that's that about the five threads. Overlocking machine. Thank you. This is a four thread 
overlocking machine. You yes, can see that spot thread. Now, the threading for both the fourth thread and the five thread, they are the same thing, except that this one does not have the fifth one that goes through the back. So if you have, you can follow the same process of threading the five thread, the thread, the four thread. So I only run it for us so that we'll see how it works. See the difference between the two. As you can see, because I use white thread, it's it's used and at the same time, but it doesn't have extra, doesn't have this extra sewing here. So this is one we use for polo for t-shirts, your joggers, your hoodie, your polo, butter neck, v neck, um, collared polo. This is what we use for it. So it's easy, but at least you can see it's weaving and sewing, but together. So this it doesn't have the extra sewing that the fifth this uh, five thread overlocking machine has. That is the only difference that is there. So they both have blade to three. They both have blade up and down here. So I'm going to be doing a video on how to change your blade in case you need to change the blade. That is that about that. Don't forget to hold your machine. You put the oil here. It has a oil sump down here. So you open this blade. You open this place, you put your funnel, you put your oil in case the oil has gone down, and also make sure you hold this place, you put oil inside this place and inside this place for both the four thread and the five thread machine. So that is that about the four uh, auto thread uh, overlooking machine. Thank you. In case you need to change the needle, this is what we, you use. Just raise this one up, remove the footer, you put it there. Yeah, to unscrew it, I'm not going to open this one because I'm not changing it. To unscrew it, you unscrew it like this. Can you see? Can you see? So let me lock it back. So unscrew it, then you bring out your needle and change it. So this one is using, is using this, both the four thread and they use this. You can use size 16 or you can use size 14. So me, I'm, I'm using size 16.